my Aquarius. It's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a friend. Um, I don't know why that came out. Um, maybe you want to thank your friends for being a friend. Uh, all links are below if you want to get in contact with me. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so some of you, if you're dealing with a married man or a married woman or somebody who's already coupled, the scandal, the affair, it, it's going to come out or somebody knows about it or yeah, it's going to be made public. That's what I was getting off camera. All right, so let's see what's going on. We're just going to pull and we're just going to read, you know. Let's see. All right, yeah. Five of Wands. So some love affair, you know, that's maybe um, there's a lot of different people involved. There's a lot of drama. I heard bad behavior. It looks like it's going to be exposed. The Three of Wands. Or maybe somebody's going to walk away from this. They just don't want to be involved in this any longer. Um, it seems as if somebody's going to communicate their intentions, maybe to walk away. Or someone has communicated their intentions. Like they just don't want to be involved in this love affair anymore. They want something real. They want something true. Something they can hang on to. Um, let's see. All right. Yeah, the devil card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with somebody who has addiction. Somebody who's codependent. Obsession. But you also could be dealing with a third party situation. Somebody is maybe wanting you to make a determination maybe a Scorpio on being involved in this kind of taboo relationship where maybe it doesn't have a label, but you guys hang out, you do things together, you travel, whatever. And maybe there are other people involved. Yeah. Wow. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. So somebody wants you to make a decision on being a, being a part of this. They want the fun of the relationship back. They want the sex. They want things to move forward. They just don't want it to be stuck or stagnant. They're going to come in. They're going to come out. They may travel for work or do something where there is travel involved, uh, but they'll always be back is what I'm hearing. They, Yeah, they don't stick around for long, but they definitely will be back. This could be an energy that you're dealing with, have dealt with. Somebody wants you to make a deciding, um, some dis okay, deciding factors, or they want you to make a decision on this. What is this about? What What's going on for my Aquarius? Yeah, Ten of Cups, Scorpio energy coming up again with the Tower, Pisces, Ten of Cups. All of a sudden, somebody wants to be back with you or happy or something got exposed. Oh, or something might get well, back to that exposure. When we talked about it at the beginning, um, maybe somebody is going to get exposed for already having a family or get exposed in terms of... Um, having some secret relationship this person has done this before like they've had other people in their marriage in their connection before this wouldn't be news to their spouse but it'd be news maybe to the person that they're cheating or dealing with the knight of pentacles and the high priestess um all of a sudden there could be even reunion or a coming back together and it could be a more stable relationship or somebody wants a stable relationship, but they don't want it with titles and labels and we're married and maybe even we don't even live under the same roof, but I'm committed to you is what somebody could be saying to a feminine energy. Somebody knows this about the other person too. Like they know that they have this person wrapped around their finger, but they can't get them to commit to the world, commit to, to do something traditional. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius about what's going on? Yeah, the Empress. All right, so somebody's about to give birth or they've already given birth. The High Priestess, the Empress, something is, um, it's, uh, there's going to be a leveling up. Maybe somebody is going to present somebody to, to the world, to the people that they are in their community. You know, somebody is going to come out of being the side person. Okay. Um... Somebody's going to go into emperor status where they have a title. They have the ring. Winners have rings. So it looks like somebody's going to win here. Maybe win the, the affection of their person, the three of wands. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be expansion, growth. Somebody could be expecting, expecting coming up again. Could be that they're newly pregnant. Don't, doesn't even know right now. They don't know. 
and then they will find out. This could also have someone having a plan. These plans, they're just ready to make these plans real and expand and move away. That's how somebody feels here too. Like, look, I'm tired of these just being plans. I'm ready for it to be real. Let's make it real. What's the advice for Aquarius moving forward? Advice for Aquarius. Six of Swords. Stay calm. Stay peaceful. Move away from hurt of previous relationships, whether they be they were romantic or platonic or familiar. Move away from it. Leave that self-sacrificing, self-sabotaging energy behind. Do something different. Show up different in the next relationship. Or if you want to reconcile with somebody, you got to show up different. You got to show up peaceful and calm. You can't show up with that war raging on the inside of you. Not if you wanted to stick around. Nobody's going to stay around for that. The king of pentacles the cards want you to know this is your advice you're moving from a hard struggle time where things were slipping behind you know out of your finger or there was always a reversal you're going to move into a more stable systematic rational um maybe even like um monetarily some of you gonna like go from fighting so hard and so long for some money to actually having the money with the six of swords and the king of pentacles it's i'm feeling like overnight it could feel like overnight to other people but you they didn't know how long you put in or how long you waited for the king of pentacles also is um this is somebody who was systematically doing something they just was they were beating away at this this is also you know, becoming quote unquote rich or wealthy by your own hand. So it's something that you did, you've done, or that you're doing. You know, this isn't like inheritance or somebody giving you anything. This is something that you you put into fruition very long time ago. Wow, I can't make it up. Fell out into my hand. The Ten of Pentacles. You don't get the Ten of Pentacles overnight. Night without working for it so they're like the transference of wealth you could be waiting on paperwork or something to transfer from you from them to you from some party to yourself you could be waiting on an actual transfer in your bank in your bank account it's like you've been fighting for this thing fighting for what is yours says the seven of wands and the five of wands that would be fighting for what you want and the seven of wands is fighting for what you have or what is yours so it's like you've been fighting for this money, for this this um, massive amount of wealth. You just want the fight to be over. You want to come out of this wishful thinking. For some of you, you just want a long-term relationship. You don't want these fly-by-night relationships. You want to come out of that. Um, you feel like something has you trapped, stuck, can't move. And just waiting for the opportunity, Ace of Wands, by way of the universe to move. To make some definite change in your life. Got moving card coming up again. Ten of Wands. Picking up all your shit and leaving. Maybe even leaving something behind. Could be leaving real estate behind. Some of you don't know where you're going. But you know you're leaving. You don't know exactly where you're moving to. But you know you're going. You're leaving. Again, waiting for some paperwork. The exchange here. Maybe um, this is like signature bond or something i don't know this is like waiting for some money let's see what another deck has to tell my aquarius um you guys have been faithful on this channel and i thank you it is our time it is the age of aquarius if you are not doing something if you are not engaging yourself in something that will bring you your family yourself whatever long-term stability this is the time to do so. Get out there, move, make something happen for yourself. The universe is aligning for you, specifically Aquarius, not just um, for other people, but spe specifically for you. Blonde, female, and passion. So some of you got some um, strong passion. Maybe this could be even be same sex passion for um, maybe a younger female here. Or someone has this for you, or this is you, Aquarius man. You have passion for this person desire 
you desire them um you could be thinking about them very sexually let's see yeah waiting for communication from this person um or they're waiting for a communication from you you guys need to have a talk you know a sit down you need to really clear the air the communication has been kind of base level it hasn't really gone beneath the surface yeah new love i'm feeling like this will be the resurgence of love somebody who feels differently about love also this would definitely be um maybe some a new lease on life some of you are waiting for communication to have that new lease on life maybe even a new home um okay let's see yeah spiritual growth some of you are saying i want to talk to this person because i have grown but maybe somebody feels like it is over it's done maybe they messed up too too bad um somebody won't forgive somebody doesn't want to forgive maybe this relationship came into your life to offer you spiritual growth spiritual growth what is that talks about you and what you need to do in terms of your spirit spirituality emotional mental you need to have growth maybe this relationship came into your life to offer you that maybe you're seeing this new lease on life um, because you're going through that spiritual growth you're heightening also maturing for some of you um let's see yeah young male you could be waiting for somebody to respond back to you this could be a young male it doesn't have to be that he is young or she is young but it could just be that they get a lot of attention maybe they have nice um they have really really nice uh things material car they could play sports they could be in a band they just get a lot of attention um and the things around them that they possess even garner a lot of attention here so you'll be dealing with somebody who is an attention whore whether they try to be that or they don't they just get a lot of attention a lot of people want their affection um so this could be who you are wanting waiting for yeah waiting for a wallflower um it says that maybe this person came into your life for the short term to show you once again spiritual growth what it is you don't want what it is you should not accept and um, this breakup is um for some of you i'm hearing it's going to be a short-term breakup if, it, if you guys have broken up and for some of you this person came into your life this relationship came into your life for the short term just to show you better show you that you need to grow yeah maturing you um so you can come out of that some of you handle situations in a very immature way especially when it comes to your emotions their outbursts especially when you realize that you're not the only person involved um somebody wanted a friends only or friends with benefits type of relationship yeah they just wanted to date you and other people again back to this in and out this person was like traveling around like they have a um uh, what is it like a rotation of women or men that they deal with here and that's what they like to do let's leave aquarius with some soulmate cards i think i'm gonna use all of the cards i'm feeling like somebody out there's like yes yes please go keep going on um, all right soulmate cards what did what do the soulmate cards have to tell the aquarius what do the soulmate cards have to tell the aquarius the soulmate cards all right soulmate cards the reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connecting yeah so you could be in pain right now or someone is in pain in terms of a separation because your souls are connected you might need to do some cord cutting type of energy souls that belong to each other will always find their way back and i was saying that too like some of you are dealing with a situation where there are con the separation is um temporary and you'll find your way back to one another and then some of you you're dealing with somebody okay they came into your life to you know illuminate something about you or as to why you would attract that energy why you act like you act why you did what you did so you can change grow have spiritual growth and move forward it will you will meet your soulmate when the time is right yeah for some of you this was a karmic soulmate and uh, you're gonna meet your true soulmate when the time is right for some of you two souls are going to come back together if they belong together what else do we have start reclaiming 
who you truly are. I mean, some of y'all lost yourself in this relationship. It was all about them. It was all about the relationship. It was all about this, the growth of the relationship. You put your energy every time into the relationship, the relationship, nothing until you start reclaiming your power here. Some of you need to release your worries and receive universal abundance. It is coming to you. Some of you are worried about this abundance, this money coming to you, but it is coming. It is coming. I'll say it again. It is coming. You just have to release the worries and receive the universal abundance. Let's see how somebody feels about you, Aquarius, and then we'll end with some future energy. All right. How does a specific person feel about the Aquarius? Let's see. How does a specific person feel about the Aquarius? How does a specific person feel about okay so they feel like hurt people hurt people let it sink in maybe they feel like you you hurt them because you were already hurting or they feel like they hurt you because they were hurting they also feel like maybe you are a common a fraud a liar you know that everything you're saying is is cap or a lie um maybe about some money here um they feel like okay so this person feels like i dumped you now I want you back. Please forgive me. All right. So somebody is wanting to come back. They may have chosen someone else over you, chosen to be single. They dumped you. They left you. And now they want to come back. How does Aquarius feel about a specific person? All right. Aquarius <laughs> Aquarius feels like it's all lies. If it sounds like a lie, it's probably... So Aquarius just feels like this person couldn't tell the truth. If truth came and bit them on a... You know what? Aquarius feels like... Um, this person is trying to save the relationship or the marriage or Aquarius feels like this person is still married um, Aquarius loves how you dress they feel like you're a fashionista it could be vice versa it could be mutual um, Aquarius feels like money is holding their person back okay in between the two of you might be an energy of angry somebody's angry somebody's angry at the fact that maybe they couldn't get their way with you you didn't say yes there was not a yes answer given future energy for the Aquarius let's see fortune already showing up but let's go ahead and shuffle the deck so both of you and you feel like each other the Aquarius feels like the other person is lying the other person feels like the Aquarius is lying for whatever reason um, this is wonky uh, it's just a level of mistrust and maybe even still anger fuming between the two of you here let's see what's going on for the Aquarius future energy for the Aquarius all right thief yeah you feel like somebody is a liar that happens in so many different ways you know of course you can steal someone's belongings but you can also steal somebody's time energy essence um peace so you feel like maybe somebody's coming back to just take or someone feels this way about you yeah misfortune you feel like somebody is just coming back to maybe cause you grief heartache misfortune some um like getting back with them will be it will cause you to be less fortunate priests some of you are practicing maybe abstinence being pious or chaste um looking into religion and spirituality that spiritual growth did come up some of you are just not engaging in romantic relationships right now and this would be those who are doing this by choice okay um yeah maybe because you have encountered high levels of falseness falsehood and dealing with other people These people have been clever sneaky trying to take from you merchant giving very little and taking a lot yeah melancholy you just you've been you some of you haven't been happy with the 
outcomes you've been getting with the people you have been meeting. Looks like somebody wants a new start with you. There could be pregnancy here. Yeah, wow. Reunion coming out. Somebody wants a new start. And they're in great despair, grief about you, inability to cope with the fact that it is over. And maybe they might even know that you're coming into some money, that there's going to be increased abundance for you. And they're, they're staying hopeful, or this is you staying hopeful about your money in the near future, Aquarius. There could be a little money coming in for you, consolation. The universe brings something to hold you over. You could be giving somebody a, a little bit of your time, a little bit of your energy, your attention. This is a sad, grieving man. A sad, lonely man. He's upset that something didn't go his way, that something is a no-go for him. Maybe with a wife or someone he considered a wife, but maybe didn't give the title to. Because there's unresolved issues. And it's unresolved because somebody just doesn't want to resolve it. They rather rest in malady or malady or just not even deal with the fact that they can fix this. They just rather be despondent, checked out, depressed. Somebody's ego is bruised here with haltiness coming out also. Yeah, somebody's ego is bruised. Somebody sees that somebody's in another relationship and they're happy about it. Wow, yeah, they're comparing themselves to your new person or this is what you're doing. You could receive a message in person or somebody wants to talk to you in person or you want to talk to somebody about this um, relationship you could be receiving a message in terms of your work, your environment. Maybe that you get to come, I heard come back to work or you're going to get what you've been, um, what you've been uh, asking for with the servant card. You've been slaving away at work. You've been thinking about what you can do to bring in more money. Maybe even sell some real estate. Somebody's been thinking about what they're going to get you for maybe your birthday or to show their faithfulness, their undying love for you. Wow. Undying love. And then love comes out. It says that if a situation has been going good, it's going to stay good. And if it's been going bad, it's going to stay bad with constancy here. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it gave you a bit of clarity in terms of what is going on with you. There were several different situations that we brought up. So hopefully it resonated with you somewhere, somehow. Thank you again. Many blessings to you. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, go over to the website, book your own reading, just like this one at the website level. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also come learn the Tarot with me tarot classes are linked below you could buy me a coffee yep if you took something from the reading you could give back click the link below thank you guys many blessings to you take care